All right, uh, <clears throat> today's update. I've done a little bit to it. Um, I've got the copper around it. It's called the heat exchanger, where the uh, water goes into that tube, wraps around the flue, and through there into this. I adjust the flow rate with this little valve, which came off my sink. Probably has lead in it, I think. And uh, it's preheated, makes the boiler more efficient. This is called the header, the firebox, the exchanger, is the uh, copper tubing. That, that little handle to that flap. And uh, made it sort of walk. Appears my fire's gone out. Oh, there's water coming out of the heat exchanger. Oh well. Uh, I went to Lowe's to get uh, some pieces. I uh, didn't like Lowe's much. Couldn't get any service. So I uh, went to Ace. like Ace. Ace is a good hardware store. And uh, got the necessary fittings to make all this work. I suppose I should probably explain how this thing works. Um, Firebox heats the water. This is the pressure vessel, or the header, as it's known. The uh, water expands, creates steam, goes up through this tube. That tells me the air, uh, steam pressure, and the steam goes through this tube. And if it gets too highly compressed or overpressurized, I pull this, the pop-off valve, pull it. <laughs> massive blow of steam comes out. That is if it's overcharged steam. Normally, heat in here, goes up, comes through, and the steam going to the engine comes down this tube, out through here, and I still haven't, don't have all the uh, necessary fittings to connect it to the engine. I also don't have the control valve for it either. I really need to make a uh, high pressure hand pump and uh, in a minute, I'll try to have it to where it's actually blowing steam. So I was making that part last night. The drill went actually through my finger. First blood. But, you know, you never really have one of these projects where you don't end up bleeding, so... It's just one of the things that happen. Focus. Well, I'll try to have it boiling in a second. And a second later, it's still not building up any steam pressure. But I don't really have a very good cap on there. Just a bit of tape. The uh, copper's turned purple. I don't know what that means. Maybe because it's really hot. Looks pretty, though. Uh, let's see, that's what color it used to be, that's what color it is now. I don't know, maybe the reason it's not building any steam pressure is because there's not enough water. It needs to be filled with 90% water and 10% uh, air in there. And uh, really, I need to put in a sight glass so I can see the water level, but it's really hard to find uh, glass tubes. If anyone on there has a suggestion for something I can use in place of a glass tube, please tell me because I need to know. Uh, it's still burning pretty well. Well, fire's gone out, but it's still pretty hot in there. One of the things I do need to do is make a much better mount for it, because, quite frankly, it's being held up with a piece of wood. So, I've still got quite a bit of work to do on it. Still leaks smoke, but that's okay. It's supposed to be kind of steampunk-like. It's meant to be puffing and blowing and all artsy. But, um... Yeah, still not building any steam pressure. I don't know, I need to go back and check to see if I have any leaks in any of my fittings. But, um... I'll try to keep uh, 
new video coming as soon as um, I get new parts or if I get this thing to boil or not. And, um, you know, like, leave, comment down below. And um, if you have any questions, I will answer them as soon as I can if I have answers to them. And, um,. That's pretty much it. Have a nice day. One of the real pretty things though is that if I open up the uh, control valve and um, uh, screw valve right there, it'll actually send water back down through the heat exchanger and make steam. See if I can get. There we go. There we go. That was fun while it lasted.